Welcome to the South Florida Tribune podcast. I'm your host, Scott Morganroth. Please be joined by Jason Hill. Today's focus is on shrimp tank Boca, and welcome to the show, Jason. Hey, Scott. I'm, I'm excited to be on the other end of the microphone for a change, running a podcast. We have over 240 shows, and it's nice to you know, answer some questions versus being the one asking them all the time, of course. Boy, I can appreciate that. Before I go any further, I want to let everybody know that the audio version of the South Florida Tribune podcast can be heard, actually, Jason and I Heart Radio, Apple, Spotify, Google, or wherever you get your podcasts. Also, please hit the red subscribe button on YouTube, South Florida Tribune. We're striving for a 1,000 subscribers, and if anybody knows about it, it's Jason. Please also comment, like, and share the broadcast. Want to be a guest? Ask Jason. Send t- topic ideas to South Florida Tribune at gmail.com. And if you want to advertise, feel free to give me a call at 954 304 4941. We are live on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, and YouTube. So there you have it, the South Florida Tribune podcast. And I am the one asking a guy that does ask the question. It's pretty kind of neat when you do it that way. At least now you know that you're going to be on, you can relax. You expect the guy on the other end to be able to be fluent, which I've only been in the business 43 years. I'd like to thank Jason or so. I've learned a thing or two with that said. So so let me give everybody an overview of what's going on. I met Jason at a West Palm Beach networking event a few years ago. We caught up on Instagram. So, you know, just goes to show you all kinds of social media does work. And, of course, networking events go hand in hand. And that's when you know you have yourself something like what we created tonight. With that said, okay, what I want you to do first, Jason, is give the audience an overview of Shrimp Tank Boca. Yeah, so it's a great question. Uh, we we started the show back in 2018. I went to Florida Atlantic University, their College of Business. They had an Adam Center for Entrepreneurship. I said, would you like to partner with me to run an in-person podcast studio where we interview the best and brightest entrepreneurs from South Florida? And the beauty of the shrimp tank, we say it's where street smarts and book smarts collide. So my co-hosts, are the directors of the Adam Center for Entrepreneurship. They're professors at the university. They do a lot with FU Tech Runway with all the startups that go through that platform, of course. And it's been an amazing journey. We now have over 240 in-person episodes up on our website. And we have just such cool success stories from local entrepreneurs. And now, you know, we're even doing local events where we bring the community together and get to meet these entrepreneurs and additionally get to ask them questions where we do a live interactive podcast. So we're up to the next stage of podcasting, interactive shows, live, in person. We did that at the Boca Center. So the podcast is just all about finding the do's and don'ts of running a successful business. And what better than local business from South Florida and really getting to pick their brain and get you know individuals to see what it's all about, peel back that onion, of course, and Find the truth, how hard it is to run a business, which I know you, Scott, you know a lot about, right? It's putting out fires all day, every day, oh, yeah. you know, yeah. no no five-day work week for, for business owners these days, right? No question about it. So, all right, let's talk about your affiliation with FAU. You just touched on it, so go yeah. into a little bit more detail with it, please. Yeah, so if you go to uh, the FAU Adam Center website, you'll see, you know, the shrimp tank located on their website. And... It was really unique, right? When we partnered with them, um, they really wanted to get more exposure to real entrepreneurs in the community. A lot of universities struggle that, you know, they, they, they teach students about entrepreneurship, but how do they get people to come in to speak in their classrooms? How do they get the students in their classrooms, internship opportunities in the local community, other than your typical Indeed platform or Handshake platform to get job opportunities? So they looked at it as a home run when I presented them the idea, right? The Shrimp Tech is a national franchise. It started in Atlanta. It operates in approximately 10 cities. And, and most of these cities do collaborate with other universities. So when I brought it to their attention, you know, they were able to speak to other professors, you know, at Kent State University, and they really felt comfortable partnering with us. And I made it easy for them. Very important. I paid for all the podcasting equipment. The first studio was in my local office in Boca Raton. And they switched off as co-hosts and I was the main host and they just had to come in for an hour and it was five minutes down the road from them. So we got to about a hundred episodes, COVID hit, and then we shifted over to the FAU College of Business where it's 
filmed right now. We do it every week, Wednesdays, 10 to 11. We don't shift it because a lot of components involved in an in-person show with a producer, student involved, a, pro a professor at FAU involved, and myself, right? So you know, a lot of moving parts. So we, we stay very consistent uh, with our, our schedule. We're booked out usually two to three months. And, and the collaboration has been a home run because some of these entrepreneurs donate as well, right? They want to get back after their successes. Right. And a lot of them are alumni. So it, it really has, you know, uh, been a, a great match, you know, overall. Well, you know, it's interesting how you talk about Shrimp Tank being a national brand, because a lot of people, when they probably ask about a frequently asked question, are you just a local company or national brand? So why don't you go into just a tad more detail about, you know, again, our show, even though it's targeted toward the South Florida market, can be heard nationally around the country worldwide. So, you know, as a result, so there's a of good... Course. A connection there with you being a national brand where it looks like you bought the franchise for the area. Is that correct? So talk about the right. national brand aspect of it. Yeah. So, you know, we interview entrepreneurs that have products nationally or even global, right? Our, our biggest guest recently was the founder of, not the founder, the, well, both of them now, the founder of Celsius been on, Janice Haley, and then John Fieldy, the current CEO of Celsius Beverage. They're one of the hottest stocks in 2022, for example, when you Google it, and one of the best success stories in the beverage industry because so few beverages make it against Coca-Cola and Pepsi, as we know. So, you know, they are, their brands everywhere, right? They're, they're an international brand. So we get the, the benefit is, you know, they, they go on very few podcasts, right? They just, they, they don't want to go on that many shows because they're being recorded. When you're a public, in the public, you're a CEO, you have a publicly traded company, you have to be careful what you say, of course. You know, everything could be taken out of context and then poop, the stock goes straight down, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, we have the, 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 the nice benefit that they feel confident that we're going to stay very professional. It's at a university and we've had the opportunity to spread that message nationally. So people listen to our show uh, from, from all over the world, right? When they hear these guests that we have on. And what's unique is when people want to listen to other shrimp tank cities, let's say, you know, they just moved to a new territory, they could, they could listen to the, the entrepreneurs there and then call those entrepreneurs up and say, hey, you know, I just moved to Seattle, I see there's a shrimp tank there, you know, and I listened to your podcast episode. And, and us as a brand, we're all communicating together. So once a month, you know, we could get on a Zoom, you know, call that's optional and just say, hey, you know, what's working for your city? So it's a it's a little different than most podcasts uh there's very few franchises out there that that have that type of community feel within the organization but it's nice because sometimes you're, you're kind of left on your own podcasting and we're able to communicate and uh steal ideas from one another and we're not really competition because you know we're we're in different states and different entrepreneurs because it's local you know they're not looking for the entrepreneurs from south florida on the seattle show as an example right so let me here's a follow-up to that you have shrimp tank. Okay. How many different cities would you say the shrimp tank brand is in? Just give me a rough idea. How many cities total? Appro approximately, approximately 10. They did take a hit when COVID uh, happened because a lot of these cities, you know, you just cannot do an in-person show. The design of the shrimp tank was in person, not, not over Zoom or StreamYard, for example. So right. uh, COVID really took a hit. They had a, uh, you know, the, they were about to expand in Canada in, in four locations, and I think another 10 uh, areas in the United States, but COVID hit and that just stalled everything out. And a lot of cities actually had to shut down because they, mm -hmm. there was no way to do a podcast in uh, Los Angeles, you know, in that county in California because it's the strict, the strictness of COVID. Uh, so some cities unfortunately had to shut down. They never got back, back rolling. Interesting. Okay, so let's talk about your shows. I know I've been yeah. trying to give everybody a background about it. Now we're going to get to you specifically. What do you? First of all, what do you charge? Uh, we we do not charge. You know, uh, and I think you know that's been a, a lot of our success and why people love, you know, getting part of our community. Uh, it's free to come on the podcast, but we have strict criteria. You have to have a million dollars plus of revenue. You have to have a minimum of five years in business. You have a minimum of five employees. And a lot of people don't hit that that stat, of course. You know, so we, ha we have a lot of people that email in and ask to come on. You know, often it's a startup founder that wants to tell their story to get more PR for their brand, but they're just not a fit. We want to we wanna hear from the, the founders that, you know, have been through the ups and downs and cycles 
and, and have employees because that's one of the hardest thing to, to share the stories like how hard it is to scale a business from the ground up. And we do allow obviously businesses that have exited and now they're on their startup, right? So they had a company and they sold for a hundred million dollars, which happens all the time on our show. Well, they're on to their next venture typically and their new company doesn't have that, but their old did. So we, we just look for experienced entrepreneurs. Um, and at that point, we feel we do not need to charge because they're giving the value of the of their time and their story. A lot of these entrepreneurs are are worth millions and millions, of course, and and we we're not going to charge them a few hundred dollars, for example, to join us on a on an episode. Um, and then we collaborate with them outside of it. We've done local events with just our past room tank guests, and then you know it's really nice that everyone feels comfortable sharing their phone number with one another and doing business with one another. And then the bigger events where we allow anyone to join. The big event in Boca Raton was absolutely free. You know, it was at the Boca Center and didn't charge anyone. Um, and I put all the effort to get all of our past guests to have exhibits and everyone given a little bit. Uh, so it's been, a, it's been a fun journey, you know, going from a podcast to also then helping out the local community and collaborating, of course. Okay, now some of these questions may seem to be redundant. Don't worry about it because part of what we do is try to reinforce everything. So it's a very simple broadcast. So who do you interview? We interview the best and brightest entrepreneurs from South Florida. Okay, good enough. Okay, when is your show? Wednesdays between 10 and 11 a.m. Very Eastern good. Center. How long is the show? Most shows are 45 minutes to one hour. Boy, I like it when we have rapid fire. People can, they don't have to take a lot of notes here. Criteria, once again, to come on your show. One million revenue, five years in business, five plus employees. Okay, very good. Client's age range. We don't have a, we don't have a limitation on there, but typically our entrepreneurs are 35 to 65. Very good. Okay. So give me your closing thoughts a little bit. You talk about the about the whole thing, and then we want to go into the OWL app just a little bit. Um, pretty much, you know, go check us out on Instagram at Shrimp Tank Boca. You can see all the clips of our past guests and then our website, shrimptankpodcast.com, and then click our city Boca. What's really unique with our podcast is we put the full Facebook live footage. It, it is filmed on every every episode on the website and we put full bios up and then also their 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 headshot and we have put links to their okay. company now, and that's just something a lot of podcasts don't do so it's just like it's nice that you could really connect with them outside of our podcast on their socials of course so why don't you give everybody the website uh it's shrimptankpodcast.com Okay, now let's talk about your OWL app, go into a little bit more details. This is another program that you have set aside. So now the time is allowing it. You can go into a few minutes with that. Yeah, so one of the coolest things with our podcast is our audience wants to speak to our guests, right? What ends up happening is sometimes, you know, our guests don't have so much time to then block out their schedule, go back and forth over Instagram or LinkedIn, for example, with the audience that, that is listening. So OWL is a great connector for that. So what happens is we take our guests from the shrimp tank and we make them the featured expert on the OWL platform. So how cool is this? You listen to a podcast on shrimp tank. You want to talk to the guests. If you go on to OWL, you could pay $1 for 10 minutes of their time. And there's no other podcast I am aware of that leverages the, the guests like that, that can want to give back to the audience that has listened to their show. And what is OWL? You might be thinking, OWL is the first platform of its kind where you literally can log into a mobile device, look at profiles. Think about LinkedIn for a second. You're looking at profiles on LinkedIn, but imagine you were able to click a button and call that individual. And that individual put a timer on and said, you could call me during this time period, let's say two hours, right? So if I want to call you, Scott, and you said, I'm available for the next two hours, you were charging $25 for 10 minutes of your time. And I said, oh my God, I got to talk to Scott. You know, he runs the, the South Florida Tribune and yeah. I, I just, you know, I have something. I know we could collaborate on something. I got to talk to him. It's so hard to reach him. Yeah. I just call you $25 later. I'm networking with you or I'm getting advice from you either or. And it's the first app Then you're welcoming it. You're like, yep, my time's valuable. You know, that's my 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 filter there that says $25. Well, 
right? And anyone can charge what they want, of course. That was just an example. People charge a dollar, right. people charging a hundred dollars. And the beauty is we have all types of experts on our platform. You know, it's anything other side. There's lawyers, there's people in the film industry. Uh, we have uh, we have people on Cameo that are in the entertainment business. William Hung from American Idol is on there. And uh, people love talking to him. He was the number two person on Cameo last week, I just learned, with right. the amount of Cameos he completed. So it's just really cool that you could get such access to people. And those people are willing to give access based on the price level that they set. And it's all audio calls. You just click a button, you call them, and you could be in your car. Imagine you're going home today and just calling someone way home. And, and you just get to chat and actually meet someone new. And uh, that's the new wave of networking, right? There's one thing that's amazing about in-person networking, but then it's hard to always travel everywhere to do it. And right. then you don't know enough about the individual. And then all of a sudden, have you ever been at an event, Scott, where you talked and then also you went back to LinkedIn and you're like, oh my God, I didn't realize like we know the same people. I didn't realize, oh, yeah. you know, this or that. Well, right. with, with our platform, you actually are reading it live. And then when you're on a call, you're actually talking about it. Right. And it's just, it's really just taking all the BS out of LinkedIn. When you look at LinkedIn and all the messages going around, it's like, don't people just want to connect again and have real right. genuine conversations? So that's what we are. We're a platform that builds rich relationships quicker than anything else out there. And people can call who they want, charge what they want and connect whenever they want. That's the most important. 24 hours a day, there are people live to speak with. And, and even for the personal side, often we think just business all the time. Well, what happens if you're adopting adopting a child, right? What about calling someone that is an expert on adoption or they, they've right, adopted wow. children and you just want to network with them like, hey, what was your experience like? Or, or mental health, right? You're just going through a bad day. I want to call someone, just play me music right. or just, you know, just, just talk. So many people just want to talk because there's no one else to talk to anymore. Everything is messaging. Everything is Instagram messaging, LinkedIn messaging, TV, video, right? Okay. Two more questions. Number one, I'm going to put two words out there and you already touched on them, networking and entrepreneurs. Okay. Are those the two biggest words in your industry of anything that you really deal with between entrepreneur and networking that really make up the entire core of not only shrimp tank polka, but owl as well? Yeah, those, those are the, the two words that intertwine between both right shrimp tank right. of course entrepreneurs and the people want to be part of the community to network and then owl is a networking community that is growing quite quickly of course it's a startup that started two years ago from an idea and now it's in the real world really impacting lives and when you look at it it's got so many entrepreneurs because that's what's happening today you see the llc rates skyrocketing in, the, in right. the state of florida and other states it's like everyone's starting a brand today it's easier than ever. You can have an Instagram handle for free. You can have a website for free. And you, you could go into so many verticals at a low cost and work from home and and really, you know, try to, you know, get a swing, you know, at that for very low cost. We're back in the day that just was not possible. So OWL helps people get off the ground quicker by networking at the end of the day because all these other platforms, people are struggling to talk to anyone. No one right. no one answers messages anymore. So this kind and of – Once again, who's your – once, you, once again, who's your co-host for Shrimp Tank Boca? Uh, that would be my, the two directors of the Adam Center for Entrepreneurship. That is Kevin Cox and Roland Kidwell. If you go to the Adam Center for Entrepreneurship website, their information is listed there. Everyone is welcome to call them. Their information is public. And my final question, how many in-person events do you guys put on a year? Uh, well, COVID obviously prevented that. But in the past, it was always one big event open to the public and one private event open only to our, our past guests. And we'll see how things go in the future based on my last event, because that was a lot easier to host, right. uh, being it was outdoors and I didn't have to, you know, spend as much, bring as much uh, out there. So uh, people are asking me to do it more often. So we'll see, maybe I'll, I'll do it three times a year in the future, uh, but we'll see if more and more brands partner with me to kind of take some pressure off of me because it's not a money maker. Of course, it's just to, to kind of just bring people together. Okay, so just for those of you that are just joining us, I just want to let everybody know it's the South Florida Tribune Podcast, and we are talking about Shrimp Tank Boca, hosted by Jason Hill. He's my guest on this episode. So 
you know, Jason, it's really been great having you on the show. I want to go over some of our information one more time. You've already given your information as well. If you're for those of you that are following me on Twitter, you can do so at Tribune South. Our website is www.southfloridatribune.com. So that's our website. We have a lot of broadcast on there, as well as everything from our media distribution partners as well. So please check it out. Candy Ebling is the one running the whole thing as, as well. Now, but that said, the audio version of the South Florida Tribune podcast can be heard on iHeartRadio, Apple, Spotify, Google, or wherever you get your podcasts. So feel free to go ahead and listen to us anytime you feel like it. Also, please hit the red subscribe button on YouTube, South Florida Tribune. We're striving for a thousand subscribers. Please also comment, like, and share the show broadcast. Of course, I'm a broadcaster, so I always use broadcast. Want to be a guest? No problem. You can comment in the chat room. Also, you can uh, send us your topic ideas to southfordtribune at gmail.com. If you want to advertise, call 954-304-4941. We are live on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, and YouTube. So once again, Jason, I want to thank you very much for joining us here on the South Florida Tribune podcast. I look forward to doing a lot more work with you in the future. And this is a good introduction for our audience to get to know about a very good opportunity to network in a lot of different ways. And I think you guys have a great thing going. I hope you can continue to build on it. So thank you very much, Jason. We appreciate appreciate you visiting us tonight. Thank you very much, Scott, for having me on. I always appreciate, you know, telling a story about the shrimp tank and owl and the other local entrepreneurs that folks could connect with her, of course. Very good. Hold on.